Special thanks to Lee Lefevre and Common Craft for being so amazing. Estelle, Sophia, Terry, and Eric present you Tinker vs. Des Moines using the fantastic Common Craft video. Okay, so what happened was Tinkerbell tinkered with the law in this Moy. No, Wendy, that is not what happened. Oh, okay, I see how it is, Peter. The real Tinkers of primary concern here are John F. Tinker, Mary Beth Tinker, Hope Tinker, and Paul Tinker. You forgot Chris. Oh, and Christopher Eckhart. But before we go into these fascinating children, let's see what was happening back in the 1960s. So basically, this was the time of the prolonged Vietnam War. To the dissatisfaction of many American citizens, the U.S. was also involved, on the side of the South. Not many people like the idea of soldiers dying for another country, and there are many Americans protesting against this war. The Tinkers were a Methodist family with Quaker neighbors and opposed the Vietnam War. The parents were not the only passionate ones about this issue, however. John, 15, Mary Beth, 13, Hope, 11, and Paul, 8, were also dedicated to this cause. With Christopher Eckhart, their 16-year-old friend, they decided to wear black armbands to school. These armbands mourn for the soldiers who died in the war, as well as protesting against the war itself and supporting the Christmas tree suggested by Kennedy. Unfortunately for the Tinkers and Eckhart, their school principals found out about this plan and made a policy to stop it. This policy, made on December 14th, stated that if students refused to remove their armbands on requests, they would be suspended until removal. Due to this, the Tinkers and Christopher Eckhart were suspended until January 1st, 1966, when they went back to school. However, the issue didn't end there. Mr. Tinker and Mr. Eckhart, fathers of each family, were outraged about this and took it to the U.S. District Court, claiming that the schools had violated the students' right of free speech. However, though the court acknowledged the children's freedom of speech, it did not make the schools withdraw the policy. Unsatisfied by this outcome, the case was taken to the Supreme Court. The question underlying this case, according to landmark cases, was Does the First Amendment extend to symbolic speech by students in public schools? In a 7-2 decision, the Supreme Court was in favor of the Tinkers. The judges said that <coughs> Regulation must be justified by more than a mere desire to avoid the discomfort and unpleasantness that always accompany an unpopular viewpoint. And wearing armbands in silent placid protest was unlikely to cause substantial disruption. Due to this ruling of the court, students were granted the right of the First Amendment even in schools. As a result of this, school districts were banned from censoring students and students were allowed the freedom to express themselves on school grounds as long as they were undisreputed. So, this decision, Wendy? Yes, Peter. Do you actually think it was a good one? Of course, Peter. First of all, it secured the rights of Americans' less powerful citizens, the students. Many later court cases of student protests quoted this very case as evidence. Because the students had freedom of speech, America took a step forward toward a more equal nation. Hmm, that was much better than what Captain Hook could have done. Ah, Captain Hook is here!